Namaste guys and girls this is Unmissing and we are back to the Facebook tutorial where in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can create a time and effect today so we'll add a start by Jumbotron and Jumbotron will add a container and in container we'll add a DP and DP is where we are going to have a main profile picture as you see in a timeline and just uh, let's add name below it and add image and let us link to the DP image of our self so let us refresh and see as you can see that image size is very large because we had it and given it width so let us quickly give it a width in the css and add jumbotron in css and give it a height of 520 and background yeah, background image to well, let us first copy a background image and paste it to a file assets images and rename it to timeline so you can use any images over here i had already an image so i'm going to use that let's give background position to center and background attachment to fixed okay so over here it must be background image please take uh, careful and let's first add linear linear uh, effect so that it the background would be blur uh, background would be little black so uh, yeah. we i think we had missed a comma yeah we have to add that okay linear gradient first of all linear gradient and here's a comma that i'll mix so let, uh, let's uh, take comma and refresh as you can see that images has been now a little blur and don't forget that it was background not background as img and let's add uh, let us align to dp to be in little bottom margin top okay so it looks perfect now and uh, let's resize the images with once again I prefer the multiple of it because it is usually preferred to use multiple of it aligned with which is of square size so my image is of square size and it, that's why I don't need to write the height because it will automatically take, take that height make sure that your uh, width and height of the image is same so let's add quickly the link to it and make it white as you can see the the my name over there it's white and we have quickly added the margin left and margin top i guess we don't need margin top so we removed it over there and let's increase the margin left and add why isn't uh in top let us quickly inspect element for that okay so it's better to uh, to decrease the margin top of this now we would like to align this uh, in the sort i mean in uh, when the in the mo mobile devices so let's add on the added media small property this yeah in the small property for the uh, for the tablet devices on first for for the tablet devices okay okay it must be in uh not for the tablet because ta in tablet it would be better so we would need only to align it uh customize it in the mobile size devices to add a media of less than 200 pixels from 200 to 550 pixels. so yeah we want to add customize it 50 percent maybe no maybe 25 percent uh, it's better right now and uh, let's add the span to margin left it must why okay it must not be fine it must be a for hard right? and let's do some tweak with the margin left see which works perfectly uh, it's better that we uh, decrease the size of uh, font it will be better than doing margin left and right okay so it's it's better right now uh, we can uh, though we can try margin left to or oh, let's decrease the font size yes it, it looks good i guess why isn't this working uh, is there some problem with it let's quickly check out let's add dp image border first of all let's give border to our images we would look at it on the another part of this section 
so bar is uh, too big solid okay you also need to add thumbnail to that a class that dp.img it's a bootstrap class and it looks pretty awesome for that purpose and over here you can see that we are just customizing to perfectly line and at the oh, you had seen that in the add rate hover as soon as we move the mouse over there it, it takes a color border takes a different color so let's quickly add the button group uh, after our name section in the dp.ms and as you can see that is how buttons look uh, buttons uh, looks and here the classes as you can see so first of all our dot button primary and uh, give it some name I guess we can call it we need this button itself not button I'm sorry for that and it must not be div it must be button and let's add text inside it like data and something okay so let's quickly change it up to a ref and add button primary and <laughs> name to add fins and quickly add a significance of uh, that souls down as for demonstration purpose it's working I forgot to add this now you can see that it's working pretty good so I would continue this uh, video part uh, in another video part it has been a very long video so I am splitting this over here and would continue in another part so be sure to subscribe and in this another part we will complete this timeline section so see you guys this is amazing signing off and hope you will build something amusing today